we have one of our Jamaican sisters and shout out to Jamaica. Um, she's going to just really give the real about America and how it is in the area of working. Let's go ahead and roll that. You see, this message is for everybody at Jamaica who are killed themselves to come a foreign. Foreign nice, you know, me not lie. Foreign nice. There's a lot of opportunities here, but uh, one thing people not telling about foreign. And when time people do tell them about foreign, and the things say them bad mind, and they don't want to come here and the whole shebang, shebang. So let me tell you about foreign. There are opportunities in America. Me not lie about that because things where we can attain in America in a small period of time probably will take somebody a lifetime in Jamaica to to reach those same achievements, right? But with America, I have to understand that this is a plantation. The society was built off of the same formula that they use to maintain the plantations. So when you're coming at a workforce in America and they tell you about the American dream and you did there try to catch the American dream, which is the house with the white picket fence, the husband, the two and a half kids, the good education and the big job and all of these big cars and everything where you have to maintain. The catch is you're going to work till you're dead, till you're literally dead, turn over, resurrect, your sewer come back in our new body and work again to pay off the American dream. Okay? So me I tell you now, said American dream is a fraud. You can come, come get it if you want, but you are going to work till you're dead. You have people who in their 50s, 60s right now are work double shift, 16 hours a day, them are work. And then you can sit down, then you can go to the door, go sit down and chill and laugh, laugh with them bridging like how you do a Jamaica pound a job. Then you can show up later morning time, then you can I go, then you can have bad customer service, then you can drink one beer pan them break. Then you can do none of that. They must go to work and you literally walk. Some people only get one 30 minute break in an eight hour. When you're supposed to get 2.15 and a 30. And when you're eight hour done, your boss come and tell you, say, yo, you have to stay, you're mandated to work another eight hour shift. And because you have to pay for all of this American dream where you got trust for the bank, and you have all of these loans and debt, you have to stay there to work that other eight hour. Right? So, run come a foreign if you don't want, but me I tell you, say, be prepared for the truth. And the truth is, you don't go work till you're dead. And if you don't work till you're dead, you don't go almost dead. So here what you do. When you come a foreign, have a 10 year plan. You work, you work hard. You get every money where you can get. You send your money back a yard. Me don't want to hear about how Jamaica you're violent. Me don't want to hear about that you buy a piece of land and you build one house. And you put on one car down there. And you cut. You know what that sister said is one of the most realest things ever.